There are many ways to start fires and one of them is using fire lighters. And if you want to be using fire lighters that are non-toxic and they don't have all the chemicals in them, then these might be an option for you. Hi guys, welcome back to Moat Cottage Homesteading. Today I'm showing you how I make non-toxic fire lighters that actually smell quite pleasant when they're lighting your fire. These fire lighters smell quite pleasant when they're burning because they're not full of toxic chemicals. They're made of beeswax and material. The materials you'll need for this project is a mold about the size of the fire lighters you're making. I've got an old soap mold, it's a silicon one. You could use an old egg carton if you have access to egg cartons, just to sit the material in. And if you were using egg cartons, you could just cut the egg cartons up at the end and they could just sit in that and that could just go in the fire as well. But I'm using this silicon mold and some material. Now the material you're using is cotton or a natural fiber because that actually burns whereas a synthetic material will just shrink up and melt and be toxic as well so you don't want to be using synthetic materials some scissors to cut the material and I've got my work on a chopping board just to protect the table if it gets a little bit warm and a tea towel on top just to help clean up make it a bit easier and of course the beeswax Mine is over on the slow cooker. It's on a low heat and it's melting the beeswax nice and slowly. And I have a plastic jug and ladle that I just use for wax. And if you don't have a slow cooker dedicated to wax only projects, which I'm guessing most people don't, then use a saucepan. You can put a bit of water in the bottom and a heat proof dish on top and then put the wax in that and slowly melt it on the stove top. You wanna to do it nice and slow because wax is flammable, which is why we're using it to make fire lighters. For safety reasons, I'm not gonna carry across my slow cooker insert full of hot beeswax over to this table because that is really dangerous. I'm going to put some of the melted beeswax in a jug and bring that over just so I'm working with small amounts at a time. Okay, so we're going to cut some of the material as the insert and that gets screwed up to about the size we want. So that looks about right, something like that. And then place it in the mold. We're going to want to twist the end once it's full so let's see if we screw that up put that in for size okay so we want it to be about there just cut that off now I've got my hot beeswax dip the material insert in to the beeswax Don't have small children or animals running around when you're using hot wax and be very careful because it is hot. Okay, just roll that up, place it in. Yeah, it's soaked quite well. And then gather it up. Just gently. Oh, and twist the end up. Lastly, dip that in just to give the outside of it a coat, let that drip off a little bit and then place it in a mould to set. Any excess wax can go back in the slow cooker. The wax I'm using today is beeswax. However, it's not the good wax that I would be using for myself or any other products that need really good quality, clean wax. This is the wax I'd be using for just normal candles and for making fire lighters. It has been filtered, but it's not high grade like some of my others like my other wax 
So there we go, we've got that one, that can sit in. And see what happens is, and once the wax dries, you can clean up quite easily and it comes off your fingers as well. And the same with the tea towel, you wait for it to set and then it should just peel, peel off. It's not quite set, I'm probably a little bit too eager. Okay, so let's make another one. So we can get one more out of this. You could make nice circles and cut it nicely. Soak the material, make sure it's all covered and it's all soaked in nicely. It should be hot enough to work with it, like it should be melted hot enough to work with, but not hot enough to burn your hands. So my fingers aren't getting burnt doing this. If it's too hot and you are, like it's gonna burn your hands, let it cool down. It'll still stay melted for a while and you'll be able to work with it without burning your fingers. Now we wanna pack the material in, but not too tight because we actually need a little bit of oxygen to be able to get in amongst the material when it's burning because fires need three things. They need fuel source, which is the material and the beeswax. They need oxygen and then the spark, which obviously when we light the fire lighter, then it's got all three components to make a fire. So this is a bigger one. So this will be for a bigger fire maybe. There we go, it's not too bad once it's done. So dip that in, let that soak right in, let it drip off. Using your old beeswax wraps for this project would be quite a good idea. Then you could make new beeswax wraps and they'll be nice and fresh and clean. And then the old ones can be turned into fire lighters. Let the fire lighters fully set. Depending on the room temperature, it will take about an hour. Once they're fully hardened, they're ready to use. To use your homemade fire lighter, simply light the pointy end and your fire lighter will burn steadily for several minutes, giving your fire plenty of time to catch. These fire lighters are perfect for fireplaces, wood stoves, lighting coals for cooking. You just place the fire lighter in the middle of the coals and it will slowly spread to all the coals and then they'll be perfect for cooking food on top of. And of course, campfires and fire pits. And because they're made from recycled and natural materials, they're a great eco-friendly alternative to commercial fire starters. For more homesteading how-to and inspirational videos, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.